is you doing, bitch? Get down. No. I'm tight roping. Tight roping. Fuck that thing, <laughs> bitch. Guys, welcome to Pillow Talk. First of all, first of all, fucking all. You fucking smacked the shit out of me with that damn pillow. I thought that was like punch buggy. When you said punch pillow buggy. Talk, you no, just, don't. Pillow don't, talk. Don't throw like, it. what's the capital of Thailand? Bangkok. No. You hit yourself in the mouth with a pillow. It's pillow talk. Yes. So it's not pillow hit, though. It's not like Bangkok. Wait, you're talking to the pillow. Wow. Don't punch me in your fucking face, bro. Anyway, guys, welcome to Pillow Talk. It's our second episode. Second. If y'all was here the first time, if y'all wasn't, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Pillow Talk. We over here giving advice to people. And, yeah. Gonna get That's this it. They started. sent emails. Yes, let's start it. Read the first yes, one. read the first one. So, my best friend has been dating her boyfriend for almost nine years now. They have a kid and live together. He has repeatedly cheated on her, and she always Next. takes him Next, I got back. nothing to do with you. Next. Okay. No, because she does ask. She says, so am I wrong for giving up on trying to make her see is she that um see he, she is what? no good for him? Sorry, I can not read that. So she says, so am I wrong for giving up on trying to make her see she is no good for him? Or should I tell her and show her that he's still with this other chick? That's her advice. Shit is should on she me. be a friend or should she just let her be? Because clearly after nine years, whoa, she whoa, hasn't seen anything. Whoa, whoa, You say should she be a friend like if her giving up is not being a friend? I don't agree with that. Okay. That her so... giving up is not being a friend. No, you. she's stubborn. Keep it moving. Next. Damn, bro. She's I... stubborn. The other no, girl, yes. You care for your friends. The so other you girl want... is stubborn. Yes, I know. I what know you her want, but how many stubborn. times do you talk to somebody before they, before you like, you know? No, sometimes people need to see it for themselves. She probably did. What makes you think she didn't? Everybody knows people are not as stupid as they pretend to be. Your boyfriend's cheating on you. You know it. She knows it. I... So she chooses to stay? Yes. You always have a choice to leave or to go. All right. It is a little difficult when you have a kid, though. So she's probably choosing to, like, to be with him. Oh, my God. That's an excuse. People, I didn't have a father wow. in my life. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Some, my God. Because people who stay for the kid, and you could be having the worst toxic, and then that kid grows up. To be the same way that okay. you live and be with a man that's cheating, whether it's a okay. boy or a girl, and or the kid becomes the cheater and doesn't care because you witness it. People will be saying that, oh, it's for the kid, but you're putting your kid in a uh, in a relationship that's probably not healthy for the kid to try to save the kid. Don't I lie and with you. use the kid as a excuse to stay together. Your happiness you can't be alone. should be a priority. <laughs> your kid will appreciate that later, whether it's with a with a, one parent or with not a parent. Like You should be happy because nobody wants to be raised seeing an unhappy home. That's where toxic, toxicity comes from. That's a fact. Next question. Next question. We're on to the next question. Sorry for uh, the beginning where I just try to shut you out. You proved me wrong, but that happens to me every day, so. <laughs> hey, Melania and Chiclet. I recently <laughs> broke up with my boyfriend, and I'm trying to move on. But it is hard because I still love him and miss him. But I know that he is not good for me. What is your advice on how to move on from the relationship? Uh, you so this is what you need off? to do. Go Step ahead. one. Ooh. Stay around people you love and care. It's tough when you're with somebody, and then you're not with them no more. So it's like a reality check. Boom, bitch. That's what happens. So you but it's need... hard for things like that. Like, the people, you don't want to hear what's right all day, every day. So the people that are like, yeah, he needs to be away from you. You know that already. Like, why do you keep throwing this in my face that I was with the wrong person? No, yeah. So that's so the why people you, you, need you love, to be... that's the way they try to help. By... Mm. But that's not necessarily true. Sometimes people understand. It's not. And then they, my, they my just first help advice, you, like, enjoy before yourself. Before you have the people around you, I think you need to understand that you could miss him like you don't got to fight those feelings you could still love okay except those feelings are are there and they're true don't try to run for them i'm not saying hit him up or anything but just you know take some alone time and just accept don't i love him i miss him boom, bitch. and okay. keep it there and that's what it is you know because that's a fact you love him and you miss him heard it leave it there accept that don't run for them because they're gonna still hurt just accept it it is what it is let's get it with them you know hang around these loved ones Your when friends. once you need that help and you know that i do love him but i do need this help you know, to just 
help find myself again. Because then when yes. you go around and you you love him and you still mess him, you get around people and they just shitting on him. You're like, but no, he, you know it was my fault too. And you start doing those little things and. Mm, so take care of yourself first, yeah. so that you could be around people because you don't want people to be like, oh, this is this. That's the way trying left. to help though. Like it's not bad. Yeah. But. Oh, I see what you're saying. That was really good. I'm proud of you. Look at you maturing. I'm not gonna take the advice for myself. <laughs> you gonna hit me up? <laughs> Hell no. If you bad for me, why the fuck would I want to talk to you again? Why wouldn't you hit me up? If you bad for me? I'm not bad for you, though. I, if, just some... is it IF there? No. Hit Bro, me up. I don't hit up none of my other exes, right? I'll get in trouble for that, but I'm supposed to hit you up. So, wait, first of all, you miss some of your exes? It's not a miss. So I always what do say you, that. It's not none of that. Who it's do just... you, 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 you fucking put yourself in a hole? This is you digging yourself in a hole now? <laughs> you digging yourself in a hole? I can't do that. I can't. If I'm with another girl, I can't hit you up because I, cause we was cool. Okay, but that wasn't the the, the scenario. You, we broke up. Yeah. So when you broke up with your exes, you wanted to hit them up? Like, hey, what's up? Are you okay? Yeah, that would They helped. okay, they alive, you don't need to care. That'd be fine, right? That'd be fine. That'd be fine. I see her ex all the time. Bruh. We we you know, nothing dead, but Malay, you know. Okay. How do y'all get past hard situations like money problems without turning on each other and letting it come in between your relationships? This is a good question. I'm not scared money of money problems. So I don't have those problems. Yeah, but money problems come, yeah, and then people don't, like different people react yeah, differently when money. Is I'm saying for me, I can't really touch her because I don't have no. I'm not saying I don't have money problems. It's just think of the times when you did. I know, but what I'm saying, it was never a problem. I didn't have money. Yes, you didn't I was make, broke. You didn't make it a problem. I was broke before, but I never like. It was cool. Okay. Like money's only a problem because you make it a problem. It'll come. Yeah. But that's the that's the problem. People stress and people lash out on the people around them when money isn't there or money is a prop like money is an issue and a concern in their life. No, I get it. You well, just yeah, can't I get let it because money became like... a problem. So okay, so I can do it from that way. Yes. That other people had money problems and lashed out on me. Yeah, there's yes. Yeah, yeah, so that's, I could. That's, the, uh, uh, yeah. that's what happens. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because I never really cared for money. Like it's gonna come. You gotta get it. You know, you gotta get to mm -hmm. it. It's not something that I was like, oh my god, I'm broke. <laughs> gotta get to it, Bobby. That, that should it's be to work, mama. That should be like a motivator. Like I'm broke. Gotta go get it. It shouldn't put you down because then you don't want to get it because you think money it's puts tough. you down when you don't have it. You know, you let money put you down when you don't have it. When you have it, you're still not going to be Gucci at all. In regards to, like, a relationship, let's say, like, if he's having money problems or I'm having oh, money problems. we had problems. those before. But not problems. Have, I just have like, to tell you, like, yo, be on top of your shit. Like, you're just spending a lot oh, of yeah, money Oh, yeah, I'm right definitely now. worse with money. Like, I, I'm i very, like, money will come. Like, I, I can like, have it. I'm not going to hold on to my money because... I never had it. Or like, oh my God, it's going to leave. Like, we all going to die and the money is not going to go with me. So, bitch, you. if I want it, but I buy it. So, I'll be honest, with me, what I do is I wait till like, I can have it, but I wait till something comes in to know, okay, that's still there. I don't have to touch that. Uh -huh. Something new just came in, I'll touch this. You know what I'm saying? Then the next time something else comes in, I don't got to worry about it. Yeah, he's much it. more smarter when it comes to money. And I'm like... So, that's the money problem I'm with us. I'd be like, yo, stop. Why are you spending money on dumb shit all the damn time? <laughs> Why you just bought, why you just, they shit, what did you bought, what did you buy like two days ago? He's like, oh, now I gotta buy this. She'll buy like, let's say a wheel. Be like, damn, now I gotta buy this to put the wheel on. So I gotta have something to roll the wheel. Oh, wait, now I gotta buy handles. She'll buy the bark, the bike at the bottom. Be like, yo, what are you doing with the tire? I don't know, I wanted a tire, but now I should buy the, the rest of the bike to, she's, she I bought buy, stuff for the house. Yeah, like dumb shit. Like, what was, what is this one thing I was arguing with the other day? Like, why'd you get that? I don't know. It was something from Home Goods, maybe, because I'll be spying dumb it shit. Was, it was, it was. And I'm like, why'd you get that? Oh, because I, I imagine you don't remember the dumb I shit did, you buy. Because I don't think they dumb. I need them. I've been buying uh, Christmas um, decorations. I'm about to walk through the house and just look around. Just and look figure out it. what the Yeah, figure it out. It's going to bother me now, because I was like, why do you need that? You didn't. So how do you get through money problems? Uh, You can't blame other people for your issues. So. Yeah. And, and if someone is having money problems and you're trying to figure out how can you deal with them stressing out on you, you just got to realize that, like, it's not about you. They're going through something else. And nah, but like it could be them. it could be just like so basically to say us if Millennials having a, a money, a money, a money problem, 
and she was lashing at me, but I'm supposed to be getting it too and pitching in and chipping in. You just guys got to sit down and talk and be like, okay, this is your job. This is my job. How do we come together and get it? Because arguing is not going to make money appear. Yeah, that's So nice. you got to just sit down, build a structure. Like, I got to go to work this day, this day, this day. I can't call off no more. You got to take L's and people don't take them. And that's yeah. why they be mad because, oh, I can't. A lot myself. of people want to live a certain lifestyle and that puts them in the problem with money. Bro, what the fuck is you doing, bro? Getting to the money. Okay, with a handstand? Yeah, I gotta try new things. What if like the like Vegas would have called me right now to perform tonight because they saw my handstand in this video? Get to the bag. First of all, your headstand, handstand, whatever that shit was, wasn't even that good, bro. Okay. They're not gonna fucking call you. But you not be like, to yo, you. yo, I need you to do that headstand, headstand you did on that wow, YouTube video. Wow, negative pedal, vibes. Bro. You see, these I'm vibes are saying. the vibes you want out your life. No, this is me giving you honesty because that headstand. Let me do one. Let me show you what it was. Let me show you what it is. You're gonna break your laptop. <laughs> Body. That was all on purpose. <laughs> It was a flip. <laughs> yeah, I did a headstand. You did a flip. <laughs> My Next flip one. is going to get us to Vegas. I was with this guy in high school. All the time he was childish. It seemed like he didn't know what he wanted, but wanted to keep me around. And he's also cheated. So I left. Now it's been about two years and so, and he's hit me up recently and we've been texting and he says he misses me. We're older now and he wants to try again because he's changed and learned his mis from mistakes. Should I give him another chance or fight the feelings and move on? Ooh, fight the feeling. Um, that's that's tough for me because I don't know. I, I believe exes in the they they're in the past. Like that's it. We learned. We tried it. It didn't work. And yeah, a lot of people clean. like you got feelings and stuff because that was there. Like don't ignore them, which I said. Yeah, earlier. I don't think you should ignore your feelings. Like I, it's it, that's what I'm saying. But it, it's but it tough. was what it was. How was your life without him? Was it get better? Is it get worse? Did like. It, like you know what I'm if saying? you want to try again, don't want you don't want to live your life with regret that you didn't do it, and then you're like, oh, what if my don't life? try because you miss him. Don't try again. You have to like really think you could build something with this person. A lot of people get together because they're used to each other, and he knows me already. So let's just get back with him and yeah. let him do whatever. Like you know, he could change. I believe that. I hundred percent believe that. But you gotta understand with yourself. You can't just throw yourself into something. You gotta. You know, I always tell people that. Before you get into that relationship, make sure you know yourself before you let somebody else come into your life and, and you know what I'm saying, manipulate you. You need to know yourself because then it's easy for you to not know where you at. Get and, lost. And when you get lost, you're think like... you deserve bad things and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, no, I did this to you myself. Need a, like, there know was your a worth question. and bring, know what you bring to the table. Let me see. There was a question. There's a, like the, a, I read a question that was really good. Whatever. The question was, how do you not, like... How do you stay true to yourself within a relationship? How do you not get lost? Like, how do you stay, you know, you? Yeah. Because you could be with someone for so long and then, like, honestly, y'all start molding into each other. So it yeah. is hard. Mold with me. No, wait. This is how we will be molded if we mold. I'll be the cuter side. What are you talking about? I gave my couture side, bitch. My couture side will be here like this. Popping, but I, one space is very important. You need space, like doing things by yourself, even if it's shopping, even if it's like whatever. Like doing things by yourself where you're alone well, just helps that you. This year, like two months ago. I, first of all, not this year. It was like two years ago. No, no, first, of like all, first of all, first of all, first of all, I always knew that I like doing shit by myself. I do things by myself. I'll go shopping by myself. I don't need someone attached on the hip like, oh, I need you to come to the mall with me. I'll go to the mall by myself. So those little moments where you are by yourself make a difference. And I don't need to spend like two... First of all, don't lie, bitch. Because you don't like going nowhere. No more. No, you never went yeah, anywhere but I still with had, me. I still, no, yes, I did. I still had to go to the mall. I was always in the mall with you. What are you talking about? And I like going to the mall. Yeah, you know but I will also... All right, so when we get into yeah. a fight, where you found me at? Well, you didn't find me because I left and I went to Atlas Mall and I went shopping. When? This was in the beginning of our relationship. When we, whenever we would fight, I would leave. I would, whenever I left. This is the biggest lie I've ever heard in my you life. You're a liar. What? You used to attack me. Not 
physically, whatever. She would not let me be alone. And that's why, like, in the beginning, which was the worst stage that we've been through was the beginning, because you would not leave me alone so, when I was angry. So I don't know what you talking first about. Of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, when we gave, when I gave like space. <gasps> I used to be suffocated, bro. You're a fucking liar, bro. Lenny would bro, not leave me alone. I remember when we were. What? You probably have. That, you probably islands. say one time, bro. Twice. Three times at Out least. Out of a year. So what? Three times, though? I was still learning, like, all right, just go. Anyways, maybe Enjoy that was the second time. or third year. Melanie what literally just lying. started doing that, leaving me alone shit. Literally, like, in August or June. Bro, your reality of time and No, day, it's not. Yours is just different. Give me all the way to December, bitch. Hell no, never. Bro. Hell no. Bro, since we've been here, yes. No. All right, I'm going to let you believe what you believe, and I'll believe what I believe. What exactly? I believe what I know, and I, what Whatever. I know is right. Hey, y'all. Uh, first, just wanted to say you guys make my day. Thank you. Okay, so I'm dating a man that's a few years younger than I, and in the beginning, he was affectionate, loving, Whoa! and made it known he wanted to be the person I came to for pretty much anything. Six months in, he is nowhere near how he used to be. Combos are different. Sex has died down. Holding hands, kissing is all pretty much non-existent. What do I do with this? Well, it depends on how, how young he is for the advice I'm about to give. Okay. When you're new to the love thing, you love it. You know what I'm saying? But once it becomes normal, it's something like, especially being young, you don't want to be in that shit forever. I still don't want to be in that shit forever. Don't hit me. What the fuck? <laughs> I wasn't even going to... <laughs> I'm not gonna hold you. I was a second from hitting you. <laughs> <laughs> I got them I triggered. I'm triggered. Yo, know, my my hands was gonna be like, what the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> like, bitch, no. uh, affectionate and like that is a hard thing. Like to continue to like keep it in that honeymoon phase going. Like mm. one. Nagging a person to do something rawr, that you want rawr, rawr, rawr. is not going to help it. Never. Like, if you're like, oh, I need you to be more affectionate. I need you to do this for me. And I need tell you me to... what the fuck to do. I'm stubborn. Do and, not tell me. And if me. they're not doing what you want them to do, I'll take Chico's advice. You can leave. Ooh, like, even though I hate when he tells me that, but it's true. I did just be like Because I could go. Deb. And you're right, because if you're not giving me what I want, if this relationship is nowhere, nowhere, like, no longer where we need need from each other why are we doing this i'm just gonna be unhappy Bro, not getting love what people need want. to understand is that you could have a great six months and it could die out it's like it could but die also friendship also, dies people die also food gets old we but we also like people like to imagine they want more they want more yes. they don't appreciate what like Maybe he is not doing those things that he used to do, but maybe he's doing something else, like something different. And you stuck on what he used to do, that you're not noticing what he is doing. Yo, people out there, love could die. And you can find love with somebody new. You don't got to stick to the same person your whole life. You know what I think love is? Energy. You like the affection. That's energy. All right? You can find energy. Maybe people lose their energy. Their energy dies for you. It's not your energy no more. Batteries die. Batteries die. First of all, batteries now last mad long. So yeah, and they lasted six months. That's here. pretty long for a battery. That's not necessarily uh, <laughs> not lasting, bro. You could, you know what I'm saying? You because could find I, that energy that, in somebody like, else. The energy just travels. It travels. Boom. It boom. boom. You can connect speak. to somebody else. It's possible. It could happen, guys. Oh, my God. But that's not One always One person for the rest of your life. You could probably fall in love with a dog. It's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, all about energy. With hobbies, people have, you know what I'm saying? You gotta this just guy. explore. I don't like the fact that you think that we're not gonna last long. I don't think that. I think batteries can last forever. Well, not forever, but till we die. We don't even last forever. last forever. We die. Whatever, bitch. We're not doing this right now. One more. <laughs> okay, so my ex is with the girl he cheated on me with. But he says he's just playing her to use her car for work and save money. This motherfucker ain't shit. That's fire. No, first of all, don't believe his cheating, trifling ass. Talking about he using her for her, for her car for work and save money to get his own car. Bitch, <laughs> he's probably using you too, man. Fuck out of here. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, another... read that again. Boom, bitch. Let me read it again. 
okay, so my ex is with the girl he cheated on me with. Okay. But he says he's just playing her to use her car for work and save money to get his own car. But he will be with me and my son once he's done using her. I can throw this? Throw that sh No, don't throw my shit. I can throw this? Bro, are you Should serious? Should I stay and keep on with the plan or do I... Girl, do not oh stay Oh my God, bro. He's going to hate me. Plan, See, you guys asked me for advice and now this guy's going to hate me because you're going to be like, Chick Letta Maletti bro, said... You can love him, but he... Do not fucking hit me, bitch. That was the worst he, thing I've ever heard in my he life. He ain't shit. First of all... First of all, first of all, you cheated on me. You cheated with on me. That with bitch, this and girl. now you and now you're still with this girl, and I'm supposed to believe you're gonna come back to me because you just using what type of idiot is he? And you. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve better. You des you and your son Holy deserve better. Shit. You don't need to be with some guy who says wow. he's, gonna, he's leaving the shorty. And he's only using her for and you believe and him? What the fuck do you guys... She don't believe him. She's torn, all right? She well, loves him. people go through. What is going on? She's torn. And just imagine what he's telling her. She probably seen you and, she, and he's like, oh, she. I'm just trying to help her like this with her bow, kid. Bow, what are you doing? Bow. She don't need to see that. That's... Anyway, girl, you deserve better. You and your son deserve better. Do not tolerate these these guys. They be out here trifling and lying, and they ain't just guys, shit. Girls too. Yes, girls as well. They humans. be trifling and lying. Yes, humans be <laughs> trifling and lying. That's a fact. Humans be trifling and lying, and that does not mean you can't trust people. But that means like when someone shows themselves and they hit you with a like, come on now, bro, give me a better lie than you using her for her car. Bro, that's not you have to give me something bro, better. You don't than even that. want to lie to me. Like, wait, time out. Yo, what's just bothering me is that. She he cheated on her with this woman and is still with that woman and she thinks of taking him back after he left you. Do well, he didn't cheat. He left you for another woman. Do not. Bro. And you want to take not. him back Do because not. he. Wow. Respect, this respect one to big him thing. though. No respect. That, this he one must big be slanging that shit all over. That shit must be fire. You know what? <laughs> Pick that dude up and you should have a round with him because what? if his shit doing that, was she confused? He, he needs to come. I can't do that to no girl. Bro, what do you he mean? could. I'm confused right now. Thanks. You welcome. <laughs> Thanks for uh, petting my ego. You welcome, here you go. But you get the vibes. You so got we, it right. We is gonna get through this. Together. We is gonna be smart, and Together. we ain't gonna let no motherfucker lie to us. No bullshit ass lie. No and, short either. Exactly. No human. Don't give me no bullshit ass lie. When no you catch the lie, no, no aliens, no dogs, you no let, spirits. You no. was with that bitch, you can stay with that bitch. Go with that I guy. I don't give a fuck. Me and my son, we're good. Motherfucker trying to save. You could save money with me. You didn't have to leave me. You could have saved money. We would have been good. All right, relax, bro. That's, Got me tight, bro. I'm not. No, no but that's not me, okay? Don't <laughs> take this energy out on me. That was fire. Yo, on that note, that was the last one. Shit, shit got me ready to read 30 more. Thank but. you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys who sent y'all advice. Send the advice some you more. need. Send some more. PillowTalk.hf.gmail.com We reading them, we checking them We want to do this consistently Let's make it happen, guys And we only stay consistent if we see those emails you see them emails, blow that shit up Let's get it and, You know, we do, other, we do other things besides relationship advice So Yeah, so if you need advice on everything or anything Throw that shit in there, bro Because we here to give y'all the best advice Facts, this is brought to you by Chicklet.hf and Millennial Crew